Hey everybody, Jay here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be working on a 1977 Yamaha XS650. Uh, this is a bike I've had for a while now, but it's getting to the point now where it needs a little bit of a once over. I didn't really ride it much last year, so we're gonna go through it completely. I'm gonna show you some photos of how I got it, and then we're gonna go through it, and I'm gonna show you the after product. So this video is gonna be how to go through front to back, how to restore a motorcycle. So stick around guys, it's gonna be fun. All right, so here she is. This is, like I said, this is my 1977 Yamaha XS650 Twin. Um, these bikes, Yamaha basically copied the Norton Triumph Big Twin uh, bike. So this is Yamaha's version of it, but it's a very nice bike, all original. Um, burgundy, original exhaust, it has the airbox on it, all original equipment, uh, hasn't been modified. So, how to bleed your brakes. That's what we're gonna go over first. Uh, basically, your braking system, all it is is brake fluid is basically almost like uh, hydraulic fluid. It is a non-compressionable, if that's a word, I'm pretty sure it is. It is a non-compressionable liquid, which is in this reservoir and all through the lines. When you squeeze your brake handle here, inside there, I don't know how well you can see, when you squeeze your brake lever, you're pushing a piston which compresses compresses the liquid all the way down to your brake lines to a caliper that as soon as you squeeze it, it squeezes the caliper which naturally pushes the pads against your brake rotor. Very basic, but brake fluid definitely has a shelf life. Uh, it is not like hydraulic fluid where it's constantly uh, running through a filter, it's constantly moving like our Kubota BX there. Um, the brake fluid in here, I like to change it every season. Uh, every season or two depending on the amount of riding. It's really not a big deal. It's cheap enough uh, I don't want to skimp out on my braking system because it breaks down over time So let's pop this cover off. We'll get it all set up and I'll show you how to do it So I will say brake fluid ruins paint So be very very careful when you're taking this off. You want to make sure this master cylinder here Is as vertical as you can get it Meaning as level as you can get it So as you can see, and hopefully uh, the camera does justice, but the brakes are working on this, but you can see how dirty, how broken down that brake fluid is over time. So what you can do is, is get a rag and kind of wick it up very slowly, and then obviously dispose of that rag properly, clean all that out. But as soon as you empty this, do not squeeze a brake lever, because if this is empty and you squeeze a brake lever, you're going to shoot air into the system. We're going to have to bleed the brakes anyways, but... For this sake, don't touch the lever while you're uh, cleaning this out. Now you want to just inspect, see what's going on in here. See if there's anything out of the ordinary that, you know, needs attention. We're going to pop these two screws off because there, there's some gunk down in there that I want to get. So let's do that. So as you can see, sorry, I'm standing in your light. Taking off that plate, there's a secondary layer of just gunk. So let's clean all that out, wipe it all out, and then we're gonna reassemble it, fill it with some juice, and then uh, bleed it. So we're actually taking this farther. I figure while I'm here, I might as well show you. So you have layers. So you, as you saw, you have the cover with the diaphragm, you have that silver plate, you have your actual reservoir, and then if you pop your reservoir off, some of them are the round ones on the Jap bikes, they screw on, so just, you know, obviously don't go wailing on things. But see down there? See all that gunk? These two holes, this is what, the, the, those two tiny holes there are what your brake fluid flows through. So obviously if you get some restriction or obstruction there, uh, you're gonna have some issues. So again, we're gonna clean all this out, we're gonna clean this out, throw it all back together. But if you have an older bike, maybe something you're getting running, it wouldn't hurt to strip strip your master cylinder down all the way to nothing and clean it that way. That, if if anybody needs me to do a video on that, I can, as far as pulling the uh, plunger out and cleaning that. But this, basically, is your first layer. I would go through all of this, clean all this. You still can't get your brakes working. You can rebuild this plunger without taking all this apart. That, um, crystallization you see there, 
that's what happens with brake fluid over time. It breaks down and turns into that uh, flaky dust stuff. So I just want to share that info with you. Just for this demonstration, I'm going to show you, but if I squeeze this brake lever here, you'll see what's happening. See the fluid squirt out? I don't know if you caught that, but there's a tiny, 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 almost microscopic uh, po uh, hole there. And if that gets clogged with any little bit of stuff, you lose your brakes. So um, I just wanted to share that with you. So now that this is all clean, we can go ahead and throw it all back together. It says on the cap here, use dot three or four or five, depending on the bike system. So make sure you use what the bike calls for. Okay, so that'll do for now. So we got this all back together. We put some fluid in it. Now we're gonna move on to the actual bleeding process. So on your brake caliber, you have what looks like a grease fitting and it's sure not a grease fitting. So do not pack grease in there because that's not how this works. But anyways, we're gonna set the tripod up. What you wanna do is just get a Poland Springs bottle, crystal geyser, anything like that. And put a, oh, hang on, put the wrong end over it. Put a piece of rubber, uh, if you can, over, just like that. So some master cylinders, when you squeeze it, the brake fluid will shoot out of there. So literally just rest your cover on, just to protect from the brake fluid squirting out. So now, how to bleed it, squeeze, squeeze. Give it a good squeeze too, don't be shy. Squeeze and hold it. Now as we go down here, Hopefully you can still see, if I crack this bleeder, so I just cracked that bleeder, hopefully you saw, and my brake lever went right to the handlebar. So what you want to do now is you crack that bleeder, now you close it, go back up, let go of your brake lever, and repeat, squeeze, squeeze squeeze hold see the gap going back down here crack the bleeder now, as you can see our bottle we have some brake fluid coming out so same thing squeeze 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 yes yeah, see we got fluid now coming out. So as you're doing this, remember, squeeze, 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 hold, crack the bleeder, shut the bleeder, squeeze, 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 and so on. Also, keep an eye on your brake fluid because the more you bleed the system, the more you're gonna suck this level down. I don't know how well you can tell, but we've already down quite a bit because uh, we've done a few bleeds on this. So let's keep doing this and then I'll show you how to button it up at the very end. All right, so when you're all said and done, uh, you want to put the cap back over the bleeder, wipe off any excess uh, brake fluid. So if you're driving and you know you see something fresh, you know you got an issue. But basically, that's how you bleed the brakes. So uh, I like to clean out the master cylinder. Just remember this: pump, 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 hold, crack open, close, and then repeat. So pump it up, crack the bleeder. Oh, sorry, pump it up, hold the lever in, crack your bleeder. Let the fluid squirt out, your handlebar lever will go back. You lose pressure, it'll go all the way to the handlebar. Shut it, and then pump it up again. Every time you do that, your fluid's gonna go down a bit because you're moving it through the system. So just keep, keep an eye on this reservoir. Don't get so caught up in this where you forget and then you suck air in and you're gonna repeat the whole thing. So that's basically how you bleed the brakes on a four, uh, motorcycle, four-wheeler, ATV, snowmobile, anything that's got basically a master cylinder and a brake caliper, this is how you do it. So I, uh, sorry, a little sweaty here, but appreciate you guys watching. Uh, hope you like my bike. This is part one of a multiple part series where we're going to do maintenance front to back on this. Uh, we just did the front brakes. Our next video is going to be, uh, speedometer cables, RPM cables, um, spark plugs, wires, oil change, rear chain tension um 
pol how to like polish, clean up, all kinds of stuff. We're gonna go through this. We're gonna do a seat cover on that. So stick around. There's plenty more where this came from. If you like what you see, please hit the thumbs up. Please uh, comment if I missed anything or uh, let me know what kind of bike you have. I'm all into vintage bikes. I Like I said in the previous video, I bought and sold over like 50, 60 bikes over the course of five years. So I've had a bunch. So let me know what you got. This is my ride, my Yamaha. So we're gonna, uh, she needs some love. So we're going through it right now. So she'll be safe, ready to ride. So thanks guys and uh, we'll see you next time.